I was spoiled. I was a spoiled youngest child in the way that you know the, the old Tolstoy thing of every um, every happy family is the same, but every unhappy family is unhappy in its own unique way. Every spoiled child will tell you they weren't spoiled in the way you think they were. And uh, in my case, I was spoiled because I, I spent time with my mum and dad alone at a time that was actually meaningful to me. So not when I was really, really little. I didn't get their attention at all, probably. Um, and the, oh, I know I didn't in a lot of cases, but I got to spend time with them as an early teenager and I would ask them to tell me their stories of their growing up during World War II and all these other things. And, and actually my kids tell, ask me, like, because I grew up playing rugby, rugby league, and they would say, and which we just called football, you know, which I know is wrong, but anyway. <laughs> um, and, uh, but my kids then say, hey, can you tell us some, some more of your football stories? And so, and, uh, and so I'm trying, I mean, like you, I don't have an answer to your question, by the way, but it's sort of, I think, I'm, I think what I'm saying is, but I, I think I'm asking that question myself. And there were times during the writing of this book that I think one of, one of the slightly demotivating factors was that you do, often ask yourself, uh, you often ask yourself, well, why am I even doing this? Does the world still care about books? Does the, you know, but I think, I, I'm encouraged by things like tonight, but, and pe that people here will have, do have children, or will have children, or are still children, and, uh, and so, that wasn't a shot at the, the English male, by the, by the way. Uh, so, uh, so I, I just, um, I still feel like it's there, and you know, and unfortunately, you know, we're we are in a pretty troubling time for all sorts of reasons, and uh, and so, but I, I still hold to the idea that you know that stories are still important, and even if we can do that in our own lives, that's really all we can control, and because uh, clearly, who we even elect isn't really in our control, and. Uh, <laughs> And so having just come from America too, and it is pretty scary, and uh, you know, and, and like I, I will go there and complain that we can't keep a prime minister for more than six months. <laughs> and they say, well, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, but I, I generally have some sort of faith in us, but um, maybe that's misguided. So we'll see, we'll see how bad it has to get. But um, yeah, good question, don't have an answer to it. <laughs> uh, thank you for, for asking. I hope that probably didn't help at all. We've <coughs> got time for just one more if anyone's got one. There are two and I, I can answer both. Go on. <laughs> Should I back first? And then we'll finish it. Yeah, in the record. Uh, out of all your different narrators and protagonists that you've written, do you think there's any one that's most similar to who you are? <laughs> okay, which protagonist is closest to me? Uh, well, I don't think it's death. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's funny, I mean, I've always imagined death with an Australian accent, and uh, not that anyone else does. But it's, um, I guess, I guess it is the missing piece of us. Um, you know, I think it's always the last one. It's like when you're a kid. One of the things I loved about being a kid was you'd go to a movie, and that was your favourite movie. You know, and then you go to another movie, and that was your favourite movie. And so, for me, probably Matthew feels the closest to me as a narrator because. Matthew feels the weight of responsibility, and I think I was feeling that weight of responsibility to get this right. And, uh, and so I feel particularly close to him. When it comes to favourite characters, uh, you know, in The Book Thief, probably Rudy is my favourite character. Uh, because, you know, and then people will say, how did you do that to him? And, and then I get really cold, in a way, and I just say, not for once. 